All right, now let's talk about Dominic. He lost $339 when the value of his Facebook stock took a tumble. Uh, then he went to Las Vegas trying to recoup the loss, and he lost $622 at the poker tables. Um, remember, the house, the house always wins, right? If you want to go to Vegas and make money, then you should not be on the gambling side of it. You should be on the, the house side of it. So I want us to use the appropriate sign numbers to actually represent how much money he has. Let's do an estimate, and then let's get an exact amount. So what kind of numbers do we have here? Negative. We have negative numbers. You're basically taking, I guess I should say this, we have a negative 339, and then what happened? What did Dominic add to that? He added a loss, so that's a negative 622. Do you all agree with that? Yeah. Don't be a Dominic. <laughs> okay. If I'm going to estimate this using front end rounding, front end rounding on this first number would give me what? Negative 300. Plus front end rounding here gives me what? Negative 600, so Dominic should be about where? He's lost about $900. Do you all agree? Let's find out exactly how much he's lost. How can I do that? Since 339 and 622 are both negative numbers, I'm going to combine those guys. So I'm going to take the 339 the 622 and add these guys, what do we end up with? 961. So keeping in mind that we had a sign, these guys were both negative, so my exact answer is negative 961. Of course, this is measured in terms of dollars. So my estimate was, not, was negative 900. My exact was negative 961. So the estimation doesn't give you the answer. It just lets you know if you are in the right, in the right place. Does this make sense for what happened to Dominic? All right. Any questions about that?